want to talk today is about this new series of tractors that we're introducing to Case IH line, the Optum series. Available first for launching here in the Optum 270 and 300 in the CVT configurations. Now the Optum series tractor, as you can see, brings forth this new Case IH design that you can see permeate through the entire Case IH lineup in the coming years. And some of those features that, that are available in this Optum line, I'm going to talk to you about now. Starting going from top to bottom, you look up top, you can see that we have LED lights all the way around and that's standard equipment now. Eight LED lights are standard, up to 14 if you like. Also, you got six that you can also order to put on the hood as well. And if you tuck underneath that hood, we'll talk about that engine. In, underneath that hood, we got that 6.7 liter engine, just like we've had in the past. But what we've added is that electronic variable geometry turbocharge to give us those additional horsepower to meet that 270, 300 peak horsepower that, that we're looking to meet. So let's take a walk around this tractor a little bit. Another thing I want to point out is actually the front axle on this is a, is a class 4.75 front axle suspended at that as well. And what that enables us to do is actually put dual wheels in the front of this tractor. So that's a nice, nice added feature to get us into some more row crop applications. Walking around the tractor here, you can see it's right now it's configured with the front hitch with weight. We can also get front hit with PTO, and that's going to be great for those triple mower applications. Or you can just order it with a traditional weight carrier and just put some of those Case IH suitcase weights up front as well. As we continue to walk around the tractor here, of course it comes with a Tier 4B SCR only technology, which is exclusive for the Case IH brand, giving you, giving you fuel efficiency and more power all at the same time. Coming around the rear of the tractor here, we're able to go into a much larger tires as well. Class 49, as it's called in the industry, allows us to put actually 900 millimeter wide tractors, millimeter wide tires in the back if you so desire. But also we have the traditional row crop tractors, as, um, row crop tractor tires as well, like the 18.4 R50s are available in that dual wheel configuration. Continuing way around the back. One quick look inside the cab though, one of the added new features to the cab, we've got a lot of new seat options as well. Seat options include a new styling for both the cloth and leather, and that leather seat also does not come not only just in heated, but ventilated seating as well. So that's a nice added comfort feature to, to, the, to the cab in, inside for our, for our producers. Coming around the rear end of this tractor, we really increase the, the hydraulic capacity as compared to, compared to say the Puma line, going down to the next line of tractor below the Optum. We can get 43 gallons of flow as standard and up to 55 if you can opt up to that with 37 available at a single remote at one time, giving us great opportunities to, into larger planters and tillage operations than a traditional Puma would this tractor will be able to do. Now the way we got it set up here with a large square baler is actually going to be one of the ways that it's primary operations here in North America. Be a great haulage, slurry haulage tractor as well, given its compact size overall and high horsepower capabilities. Now, the one thing I've talked a lot about a Puma, because it was built on the DNA of a Puma, but we took it to the next step. And just simply by telling you how much more it weighs than a Puma, which is about 7,000 pounds on average, it is much more than just a high horsepower Puma. We've added a lot more beef and a lot more iron to this tractor to bring it to what we got here today.